Mrs. Maggie looks out of her window every morning, cup of tea and biscuits in her hand. She's almost blinded by the light, truly is an awesome sight. It's a gobsmack and sunrise where she lives in Newfoundland. Gobsmacking. It's the only word she can think of, nothing lacking. With her biscuits and her tea, it's where she wants to be. With that gobsmack in Melrose morning sunrise. Skipper John has gone away, and she is so lonely. He may not be back till in the fall. Till he gets back with his crew, she wonders what she'll ever do. It's nice to have those youngsters coming round to pay a call. Gobsmacking is the only word she can think of, nothing lacking. With her biscuits and her tea, it's where she wants to be. With that gobsmack in Melrose morning sunrise. Now who's that knocking at the door? Seems she's heard that knock before. Why, it's that nice young Fian lad. Though she can't recall his name, he's a Fian boy just the same. Then she smiles and you can hear her say, Come in, me son, and have a bun, or perhaps you'd like a biscuit. I know that you're a nice young Fian boy. Would you like a dough boy left from last night's supper? To see you eat just fills me up with joy. Gobsmacking, it's the only word she can think of, nothing lacking. It sure gives her such joy to feed that hungry boy and see that darling smile upon his face. When Skipper John gets back, she's gonna tell him that she's lonely, that she wants a baby of her own. That little Mick is cute, and he's a fee in to boot, but she doesn't want a baby that's full grown. Gobsmacking is the only word she can think of, nothing lacking. With her biscuits and her tea, it's where she wants to be with that gobsmack in Melrose morning sunrise. Now little Mick, he grew up to be a fine young man, though to some he may seem quite hardened. But he softens to the sunrise that climbs up over Melrose, and he often goes to Mrs. Maggie's garden. And he often goes to Mrs. Maggie's garden.